So of course there are a few court cases actually that are now, they have big giant question marks around them because of the death of Justice Antonin Scalia, who was, of course, the conservative stalwart on the Supreme Court. And I had said earlier it was Breyer who was the moderate. No, it's, that's, that's Kennedy. Breyer's a big, giant leftist. So you have four progressives, somebody who's kind of in the middle, and three conservatives now with Scalia's absence. And one of the court cases that could be winding its way towards SCOTUS is that of, quote, unquote, assault weapons. See, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals and the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, they differ as to whether or not Americans can actually own semi-automatic rifles. Semi-automatic rifles, of course, quote unquote, assault weapons, because this is terminology and of course always lawfare brought up by individuals who have no idea about firearms capability. They don't know what select fire means. They don't know the difference between full auto and semi-auto and they've never heard the magical phrase, the giggle switch. Uh, so that in mind, that particular case, because you have two circuit court of appeals that differ on such a landmark issue, you, that's going to be winding its way towards the Supreme Court. Now imagine if you get a progressive justice, the likes of Elena Kagan, the likes of Sonia Sotomayor sitting on SCOTUS bench who could actually legislate away your Second Amendment rights. To say nothing of the contraception case in Burwell or the case that Greg Abbott has been fighting here in, in the state of Texas where it concerns voting rights. A lot hinges on this next decision for the Supreme Court, the replacement for Scalia. It's not a decision that should be rushed. It's not a decision in which you make through forced consent. And as I said earlier, Barack Obama has every constitutional right to nominate a Scalia replacement. But the Senate does not have to offer him forced consent. They have the right to advise and consent and not approve.